Should this Asian rapper have apologized after making a viral diss song to the San Francisco mayor? We're going to talk about it because this is in hot debate. Oh, man, this is still going viral right now. First off, we're going to play a clip from Chino Yang's song, San Francisco is my home. Then we're going to play a clip of him apologizing for it after he got pressed. Let's run the clip. Two meter fingers up to the mayor. I'm trying to run a business in the SFC. A punk ass tweaker keep on messing with me. I'm just a man trying to provide for my son and my daughter. In the city with dollar on order. I'm barely making the quarter. Out the 15 cent. It's hard to be a man with crooked politician. Want to see me getting burned. Now let him breathe. You ain't nothing but a clown. When we really needed you, you would never be around. You done turn this great city into the zombie. Then let do all kind of dirt. Here, in a small town. Someone who has the connection to presidents, senators, or, you know, the top elites. I am simply a civilian. So for the sake of my family and my loved ones and my close friends, I like to openly and publicly make an apology regard, regarding of my actions and what I say in the video. I had no idea this extremely powerful individual has so much emotional attachment to Landon Bree. Yo, Andrew, this is turning into some big internet news right now, possibly bigger than the people involved ever could have imagined, Andrew. Chino Yang is a restaurant owner in San Francisco proper. He makes a viral rap diss song that's actually better than you thought, of, you know, better than you thought would think it would be because I guess he was a Chinese rapper from the rap of China. Mm -hmm. Like he was a contestant. So he makes that song, but then uh, the mayor London breed or her constituency, it's very unclear. Like basically he comes out and says that he got like threatened. So, but you know, it's unclear whether it was in a street way or a formal infrastructure way. So he issues an apology and this has made the whole news even get bigger. Right. Because a musician, having to apologize for a song that they made seems like not something that should happen in 2023. Although I guess he did call it a diss song. It really wasn't that threatening. It really wasn't that bad. No, he honestly, say anything it bad. sounds like something out of the 70s, 60s, or yeah. 50s from one of those old shows back when politics used to be really rough and tumble. Anyways, we're going to talk about it, guys. Please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Bob Boys. Also, check out Small Ass Sauce. Check out the Instagram. It is shipping right now. Still very delicious. Uh, yeah, check it out. Yeah, real quick, guys. I want to preface this by saying we're not too familiar with SF politics. I'm just reading the articles like everybody yeah. else. I just know that people are unhappy with San Francisco. I'm not sure about the policies. I don't think about London Breed, who is the mayor all the time in my mind. So I'm not going to like, I'm not here to diss her specifically. Right. I'm not saying that you should kick her out of office right. or anything like that. But, Even though I know there is a big movement too right now that right. exists. I'm sure everybody can agree there's a multitude of reasons why things are the way they are. But of course, everybody always argues over pizza pie slice distribution. I'll say this, man. It's sort of this crazy situation, Andrew, where Asians make up 33% of San Francisco, mm -hmm. but they don't have 33% of the power. Mm. Like people don't treat the Asian population that makes up a third of the population of San Francisco like they're a group, like they, they take them lightly. Yeah. And do you think people generally view that as an issue that the Asians, that the Asians fault, like they didn't step up and gain enough power throughout the years or that there was some type of system holding the Asians back from gaining power in San Francisco. I would imagine that it was both. Right. It was a combination of people setting the traps, but the people taking the cheese and falling for the traps. Right. Like I said, I think a lot of the Asian American population in San Francisco is unhappy. They feel like they get targeted. A lot of their concerns are uh -huh. not heard. Chino Yang is one of them. He owns a restaurant. His restaurant has been broken into six times. You know, there's just yeah. drug use everywhere all around his restaurant. He comes out. That forces him to make the rap song, which is rap is the voice of like uh, the unheard, right? Or at least traditionally. Yeah. That's the struggle. what it was supposed it comes to be. from the struggle, rap. But then it's so funny because as much as everybody loves rap, when a Chinese guy is using it to point out problems in the society and then diss the mayor who happens to be African-American, all of a sudden it's not okay. Right, because it now it looks like Asian versus black. Right, but he's also using a black art form, so then that's what makes it, like, I guess so internet controversial. <laughs> then, not only that, Andrew, there probably is a disproportionate response from her camp, whether London Breed okays it or not. He probably got press on both an infrastructure official level and an informal I'm just going to keep it real. Probably got pressed on a street level as well. Mm, if you made me guess. 
So then it leads now to even more speculation. Right, right. I mean, Andrew, what do you think? Do you think that people need in San Francisco, like, do they need to watch The Wire, Game of Thrones, House of Cards, Succession, Billions, the, the power to more understand how they cannot end up in I, this situation? Because the situation at this point, it is what it is. I think the way I view San Francisco and like the Chinese population there, it's like, it's tough because I think a lot of the people who made it in San Francisco move out. It's kind of like one of those like Chinatown situations where Chinatowns as a neighborhood always have trouble having political power to an extent because a lot of the powerful Asians who make it in Chinatown, they move out. They moved to other places. What, what, you're saying even a place like San Mateo or like whatever. Cupertino. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying like South Bay, essentially. Like anywhere. Fremont. Anywhere around the Bay, right? Um, so I think there's that kind of issue. But also, man, I think that actually I want to applaud Chino Yang because uh, I'd actually seen his music videos a couple years ago. But I think that even though he had to apologize and take down the video on his channel, the song did its job. People heard it. And they heard how angry he was. He did not make specific threats to London Bree, to the mayor. He did call her a clown and did criticize her. That's, and he did say it was a diss song. So maybe had he not came out specifically and said, this is a diss song. You think in the beginning of the song, he would say, yeah, man, this is not a diss song. It's yeah, just a real he song. He sort of said, it's not a diss song, but he said, it is a diss song. Do you but think anyways. it had anything, and this is to play devil's advocate, Andrew, had anything to do with his rapping style, which is pretty hard? Like, even just that sonic. You mean it sounds? I mean, but he didn't, Wait, so, like he didn't do the, the, the guns. Right, 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 right. and the, He had no guns, no weapons. He was in front of an auto shop and a Chinese restaurant. Well, like, there's a bunch of black people in the videos yeah, along with them. Yeah, like, people too. you know, uh, friendly with all different types of people. You know, so I thought the video did its job as far as being heard. And that's what I think it yeah. echoed a lot of opinions in SF right now. A lot of people feel the way he feels. And I think even the disproportionate response against him made... This an even bigger story. Yes, what the mayor's office should have done is taken this chance to gracefully meet him up and been like, hey, Chino, I know you made a song. Let's meet up and talk about it because you're the voice of your community. Yeah. I know you're angry, but I'm going to talk to you because I'm the mayor and I have policies that are going to try to help you versus the mayor's office or whoever it was shut him down. No, dude, they tried to punk him. Yeah. They that, tried to punk him. It looks like, bad. Basically, they try to treat him like I think, a weak-ass Asian. Yeah, yeah, I think it looks bad. It looks bad on them, and they shouldn't have done it. They could have handled and it And now, hey, man, now, whatever, I'm not saying they did it, but whoever brought that pressure on him, they're going to made this a lot bigger thing than it needed to be. Right, right, right. Um, <clears throat> somebody said she went much harder on him than she has on crime. Mm. Um, somebody said... A man has nothing to do with race or color. The city's problems are the result of a long and continuous series of bad policies. <laughs> I will agree with that, Andrew. And we even got to go back. I think San Francisco has had Democratic mayors for a very long time, one of which was even Asian himself. Yeah. Who, who we Lee. had met before. Shout out to Ed Lee, RIP. But it's like, it, I don't want to just only blame it on one person. Right? I don't like, think it's, it's, it's a right. continuation. It's a string. You know, you, she, she, you know, you probably don't think that she's doing a good job and she's maybe perpetuating things, but it didn't start with her. Right. Maybe she's not stopping the ball, but the ball was already rolling. Right. She's probably not doing everything in her power to reverse it, but it's not all her fault. Right. Because I'm sure she wants to maintain power yeah. and her constituents. Dude, a lot yeah, of yeah, things. Yeah. That's why everybody's losing faith in institutions in 2023 yeah. and all the politicians, to be honest. Um, Somebody's saying, man, he's literally just speaking his mind. I can't believe in 2023 somebody is getting shut down for using their First <laughs> Amendment rights. This Listen. is not Chicago politics or New York politics in the 1970s with like yeah. when all the mobsters used to run the things. The only thing is, yeah, because he kind of did call her out by name and calling her a clown. So I think what they're probably extrapolating, if I have to think about it in a different way, it's like, the mayor's office is probably afraid that people are, might throw stuff at the mayor when they see her out and start chanting that. Not that anything he specifically said was that hateful, but that the song could spark something. But you know what's wrong? Uh, it's because there's so many rap songs out yeah. there. There's so many angry rap songs, people talking about things that they don't like, and those songs don't necessarily get shut down. But this song got shut down. So that's why I think there's some hypocritism. Yeah, criticism. yeah, yeah. I think it's hypocritical. Ultimately, and like I said, people are going to take this the wrong way. I, I don't really, I'm not fully blaming her office. I, I think she came in as a moderate Democrat. That's what she, the platform that she ran on mm. in the recall. I'll say this. Um, 
I think that they just thought it was going to make the Chinese population, which makes up like a third of San Francisco, vote against him. I think it was just a simple like election calculation. Right, right. Oh, okay. Maybe. Somebody said, uh, I hate how on the left, and by the way, guys, we're very neutral on this whole issue. I hate how on the left, Asians are supposed to fall in line, and then not only are they on the left, they're ranked a very low-ranked person on the left. Mm. Yeah? yeah. I, I think that that's really, really unfortunate. I think people should question that situation literally for themselves if they just watch the... Game of Thrones. Um, somebody just said, man, was it even culture? Was it viewed as cultural appropriation that he used rap to do the diss song against uh, Lyndon Breed? Chinese guy raps. He's appropriating. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I feel like rap, honestly, I mean, in 2023 dude, is so a, widespread. He has a Chinese accent. Like, he's from, he's born there in China, but raised in San Francisco. Like, this dude is... It's like more authentically Chinese than when I talk. You know what I mean? Because right. he has the accent. So, I don't know. Anyways. Anyway, I mean, guys, That's not our argument. That's Andrew, not our let's argument. just get into our takeaways. I'll say this, man. I think that, like I said, I, I, I don't know what everybody's like political leanings are or whatever. I think that this issue can easily get political. But I guess for me, my biggest takeaway that I don't see being discussed online is how can the Asian American population of San Francisco at 33% get to a point where they're just not getting bullied around or not people aren't trying to punk them like they're a pushover. I don't know. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, I guess they, I mean, they got to, people got to know how power works, right? Yeah. Like I said, I mean, I don't know how else to do it. I don't know if watching animes or playing Maple Story gets you there. But you're In saying the more watch of House of Cards, Game of Thrones, The Wire. Yes. Political shows. Yeah. And it's like, those are the most entertaining ways that, that you can see no, the 50 laws of power on display. <clears throat> yes, those are fictional stories, but they're a compilation and, you know, a more exaggerated, entertaining it's, form of real stories. It's true that those shows will give you some insight into how politics work. And you got to know how politics work in order to gain political power. It is true. I agree. You have to know how politics work. And a lot of Asians don't want to think about it, whether or not they understand it. They don't want to think about it because... They're just like so focused on work and they're like, nah, like I got to do my thing. It's for my- No, they want to get matcha my... croissants. No, or- They or, want the matcha croissants. No, no, no. Or not, I, I, take out the matcha croissants and the boba shops. I'm just saying, like, I just want to cook Chinese food, serve it to, and make money for my family. That is, that's a simple way to do it and that's not wrong, but there's this other side of it where political power comes in and it is more nuanced and it is more savvy. You got to have, you almost got to speak another language. It's way more complex. Like there's right? another total language and I'm not talking about like English and Chinese. I'm saying there's another language of speaking politics and playing that game that a lot of people are not into. So that's why you do need more homegrown Asian politicians. Just like you would tell any group that wants representation for their constituency, they have to produce a legit politician from there. You yeah. have to. So that's it. Hey, man, learn the game or get burned by the game. Let us know what you think of this whole situation. I think uh, hopefully it works out for Chino Yang. Hopefully SF gets right on track. Whoever the leader is, I'm not endorsing or going against for anybody just explaining the situation. Let us know what you think in the comments section below, guys. This story just keeps getting bigger. And if more details come out, I don't know. It'll play out like a TV show itself. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Until next time, I'm going to hop my boys. We out. Peace. Peace.